Okay, another flight from Nebraska. We are going from Shadron, Nebraska to Rapid City. Should be about 45, 50 minutes, I hope. Getting a pushback right now from the fuel. And then we'll get started up here. That is probably good enough. Get the fuel turned on. All right, we're fired up. I've got those uh, routes on. We're taxiing. We're gonna take off on one two, and I need to get this selected real quick. That way we can get headed in the right direction. Go to one three. That's all the way down. All right, so we're heading north to Rapid City. This should be some decent scenery. Now, we're not going to go over uh, Mount Rushmore or uh, the uh, other monuments up there because they are not modeled. So they're kind of, they just look like what they looked like before everything was carved in. Let's get taxi in and go though. And I need to set this to which way are we going? We wanna go probably I go three five. Flaps down so I don't forget about that. Full mixture for now. Turned out of here. Interesting. I don't know what this is. Looks like it's supposed to be a taxiway. It's dirt. Just drive through it. So we are in northwestern Nebraska and uh, going up into southwestern South Dakota. So what I want to do is head straight north out of here. And that should just get us to Rapid. So we've got a long taxi on our hands. Probably could get away with taking off this direction, but we'll uh, we'll play it right. So we're gonna have the Black Hills to our left as we fly up there. there's not like a taxiway lots of these little 
dirt roads, so. Probably good enough. We'll get it turned around here. All righty. need to be at about 7,000. It's gonna go up as we go north. Call that good now. Laps up. Try to gain some speed. Starter climb. So that must be City of Shadron over there. We're going to have a whole lot of just farmland and ranch. It's just what western Nebraska is. But then we're going to get into some pretty neat sand hills also. I guess that little dirt taxi way would have taken a sort of over there. Looks like they're just building that when they uh, did the aerial images. So you can already start to see a bit of sand hills over there. Just uh, really sandy grasslands all throughout this area. Quick look outside. We're just going to head up this road. Not sure what it is, but I am guessing it's some little highway. like it's a highway that heads up to around Hot Springs. So we're not going to follow it as it starts to go west.
continue north here, and then we should catch the direction we want to go to. Yeah, you know what? We don't want to go that way. We want to... So I'm going to continue to head north, and then we'll head a little bit over to uh, the left to the Black Hills once we get up on the Badlands. enjoying flying the uh, 152. Nice slow VFR plane. So that's the highway heading over there. Started the Black Hills. for hours on this thing now, 1.6. Get up just a little bit higher, 700 more feet, try to trim this thing out. I put only a single pilot and no passenger in this, and so kind of weighted to the left right now. Turn those off. left side tank as much and uh, kind of balance this thing out. So we should be should be in South Dakota at this point. Just almost there, it looks like. Leveled off here. looking it's going to kind of veer off to the left so not a whole lot going on right now just typical rolling little hills see up there where it's uh, kind of white sandy looking that's the start of the badlands and we're pretty much right on the border now South Dakota and Nebraska. I think we got up there. Can't tell if it's towns or sand. So. Keep heading in this direction.
So we should have... A lake with a dam on it that we should be crossing over. And then there'll be a bigger highway. But that's going to be a little ways up. Should be going over some creeks and stuff right now, but it's kind of hard to tell. Looks like there's so many drainage points through all these hills. Spikier mountains over there. Not mountains, but hills. Trying to figure out where those exactly are. It might be just the southern tip of the White River. Maybe what that river is there. Just, just like when we left Scott's Bluff and headed south, a whole lot of nothing. But at least it's here. And not just a boring, nasty texture like it used to be in all the other games. Wow, I think we're a lot farther... I don't know. This road. Oh no. Alright, I know where I think I know where we're at now. On the map. So a little farm out there. Start seeing more and more sand being exposed in the cracks. Hop outside real quick in. So, lots of sand right around there. Tons of sand up there. And we are veering off left hard. Jesus. So it looks like we got a little bit of plains area over to the left. We got the lake over there. That is a reservoir just off the southern part of the Black Hills. And that should put us... Here's the highway. There should be... Is that the lake? That's the highway. That's the lake I was looking for. We're making actually pretty good time right now. So Hot Springs is just up that way. To our right is the White River. Badlands National Park is up there. And then those are the Black Hills where Mount Rushmore is.
So I think the more interesting thing is if we stay to the right a bit and go check out the Badlands. It is very neat. Search on it real quick. Saying it's a uh, was used as a uh, hunting ground for Native Americans for a long time. They've got a uh, lot of archaeology finds over there. We'll probably drop down a bit to check it out, see how it looks. So in real life, it looks really cool. Big shot to the left there. I think we're getting a bit of a crosswind too, which is not helping things. So that should be over there. We got hot springs just north of the lake in the Black Hills. The airport's just north of that lake. Can't really pick it out anywhere. Focus on the Badlands and then we'll be not too far away from Rapid City. way to do this to make sure that I'm actually over the Badlands is I'm going to change this up to
definitely got a ridge right ahead in this area. I'm trying to find it on my VFR map. Should be another. No, we're already past that. road coming across just before Badlands. So what this is, is just a bunch of eroded away into the sand that's below the soil. So you'll see you got these flat little bluffs all around and everything's eroded off to the edges, exposing the sand below. Most likely was a lake a while ago too, if there's a whole lot of water, then this all drains into the White River, which then goes all the way across the state, I believe, and into the Missouri. So this is the initial drainage basin for everything around here, northern Nebraska, northwestern Nebraska, I should say. Alright, so I see the road, there's a little lake it looks like, I think there's going to be a little town just on the edge here too, I'm trying to find where that lake is. Am I even close to where I think I am? There we go. All right. So Rockford should be over there. Spot 
where we are. Okay. So, Badlands starts just north of this highway in front of us. We're going to go ahead and drop down, buzz around a bit. Looks like elevation of the top of this bluff is a 38.13. And then we got about 30, 30, 75, this lower portion of it. Getting off route a bit, but I think it's going to be worth it to fly down here, check it out. Hop down, fly on this side, hop up on top of the bluff, and fly down the other side. Little ranch up on top of this bluff here. Hopefully this all looks decent as we get lower. Just lots of little eroded away paths. So we're still about thousand two hundred above the top of this bluff it's just crazy how all of this has been eroded away and this up here is just flat Getting about to the 3,800. Past it now. Looks like this fits a little bit lower than what we were back there. It's a really, really strange land form formation. pop up over this. Got a car driving out in the field. up into the Badlands.
this off for a bit. Hop outside. Trying to get a uh, shot for the thumbnail. Climb back out and put this at the wrong thing. We need to go to fourteen. Just wondering why it was so far off. So this goes deep into South Dakota that direction. We're gonna head up to Rapid City. I'm running out of time. 40 minutes in, not terrible, we're nearly there. Climb back out to about 6,000, I think, this time. That'll be fine. Take a quick trip around Rapid City. Not sure if it's photogrammetry or not. We'll find out. Also got an Air Force base it looks like north of town. We'll see if we can get weather.
is landing in Rapid City. That is the company my dad flies for. Getting close. Getting back into uh, the green bits. Cool little river down there. Just a bunch of sand. Just sand. It's always sand. Alright, trim this out. At least try to. Force feedback joystick would be uh, very nice to try to trim things. Actually, you think I see the airport up there. Got a flashing light. There's really nothing else that would be. So, we'll head to the left. That's going to uh, take us into town. Do a quick circle. And then circle back and land. Heading north. Hopefully once they get the monuments done, we'll go fly around through there and uh, see some cool stuff. Find that Sky West plane. And they see how far they've probably already landed. Somewhere over here. Clear to land runway tree to Sky West Tree Six C two. Have no notifications or markers when a plane is close, so if they were closer probably see him. So 
we got Rapid City, and then we got the Air Force Base behind it. You can see those two flashing lights at the end of the runway. Look for this Sky West plane. I think what I'm supposed to do is... Rapid City Tower Cessna November 5 Kilo is type Cessna 15210 miles west of Tree Sierra Delta Tree. Requesting transition. Cessna November 5 Kilo transition approved. Report clear of Rapid City Tower airspace. We'll report clear Cessna November 5 Kilo. I like how the AI calls it a 152. <laughs> it's so, I don't know, I, I heard some other people, some YouTubers calling it that too. Maybe it's uh, an American thing to say a 152. see him. Probably better. So, Black Hills. Then just at the foot of the Black Hills. It's going to be Rapid City. Gotta be Rapid City there, right? Yeah. That airport. Because that matches up perfectly with the Air Force Base that I'm seeing there. This flight's turning in a little bit longer than I wanted it to with that little veer off course. I thought we were going to go more over the Badlands on the original straight to, but uh, get some more hours on this thing. 2.2 now. We'll see what this ends up being a year from now. and I feel like I'm going to fly this a lot. Now, once I start releasing planes, you know, there'll be some that I like a lot more. Plus, there'll be more in-depth ones, too, that I can learn. Just ahead of us is town. They've got a dirt track here. We'll fly over that. It's on the western part of town. Go see if I can find the go-kart tracks that we went to when I was little here. So mad. Like, they had this oval track here. But I was too young to race it. It was like the only oval go-kart track that I've ever seen. And it had like these kind of what I remember is probably completely wrong since this was like 30 years ago. Like a full body mini sprint. But it probably wasn't even close to that. You know, it had the wheel guards on it and everything. Doubt we'll see it, but 
It's probably not even there. No, it's so long ago. Amazingly, I've never been to the dirt track up here. So we're settling in 6,100. That wouldn't get us over these hills. Town's starting to come in. You can see the uh, main road into it. Airport's pretty far away from town. And I would have thought that the Air Force Base was... Uh, closer to town too, but it looks like they have their own little town up there. So, should be able to start seeing the dirt track somewhere right along this road coming into town. Or maybe it's over there. One of these roads coming into town, it's amazingly surrounded by houses, so how it hasn't got shut down. Like every other track in the country that's ended up surrounded by houses, I don't know. to go up to Rushmore, pretty sure. I think this is all AI not seeing that typical different color like the airport is around 3,400 feet elevation. Go ahead and drop down a bit, see town a little closer. See the dirt track, I believe, right there. Of course, it doesn't have stands because AI. Very short runway over there.
little bit of a stutter there. Haven't had too many, but now that it's trying to load up a bunch of houses. Just takes a moment. Pretty spread out town, actually. This little gap between. It's over here on the east. Let's get this trimmed out and go outside quickly. tight turns there. Yep, so everything's AI generated. Head into town, do a turn around at the hills. Oh, little stutter there. It's an interesting baseball field. Five point star. So, let's see, I guess, yeah, so they got these hills in the middle of town. It's just really uh, kind of just spread all over the place. So we got a high school over there, some houses up on top of the hills. This little part of town just splits right between through this, following this river. Getting a bit low there. Hop outside one more time. Yeah, it'd be nice to get this town photogrammetry. I think it would look a lot cooler. Especially right through here. SMO or SMD. That stands for. Got another high school, it looks like, over there. And we're kind of at the edge of town. A little bit more up into the hills, but we're at an hour and a minute now on this video, so time to power up turn around and go land hopefully if you're from the area and watching this I'm not skipping out on uh, too much of it
didn't see the area that I know or remember. But it's pretty hard to tell with AI generated buildings and you're not really 100% sure with that unless you're very familiar with the area. Oh my gosh, I think this one's winning for the most baseball fields in a town. Look at all those. God, there's more over there. All right, pop up over this hill. And we're gonna head back to the airport and land. Contact with them. Rapid City Tower says the November five kilo to land. Says the November five kilo Rapid City Tower. Enter left traffic runway three two. Altimeter two nine decimal eight five wind three four three at nine. Enter left downwind runway three two. Says the November five kilo. Now here's some stuff that I don't really know. I have no idea what left downwind means. I'm assuming that means that we're gonna make a left turn to get to the runway. So, yeah, still more things to learn. Little, like, apartments up there on top of the hill. Just flattened it out. All right climbed up enough there to about 4,000. We're not 4,000, we're at 5,000. thing hard real quick get get this thing over with just that Gonna do a pretty short turn around here. It's a massive runway, and we're gonna be able to get it stopped quickly, anyways. I don't know how my flights always end up taking way longer than they should. I get too distracted by looking around at things. Thank you. 
bit more. Slow down. Cessna November 5 Kilo, please acknowledge. Yep, yep, yep. Clear to land runway tree to Cessna November 5 Kilo. Strange having two Sky West flights coming in. Would not have thought that. Hopefully, we can get down and out of the way before he gets here. I think 2 4 out is enough time. I don't think he would be booking it too hard. Alright, in the white line, flaps one, go flaps two. Spot my lights. Looks like we are all white right now. Just floating in the air at the moment. Just a bit. Down to fifty. to the left. Hurry up and get down the runway. Cessna November 5 Kilo, turn next taxiway. Cessna November 5 Kilo, contact ground on 121 decimal niner. Going to 121 decimal niner, Cessna November 5 Kilo. And we're going to come down here and park it. Looks like that would be the terminal. And this is general aviation down here. Pop out real quick. 
Got the uh, Sky West coming in and out there. You can just probably can't even see it on the recording, but little dot out there. Be interested to see what type of plane it puts it in. It's probably going to be like a three A three twenty. There's everyone waiting for me. an unfortunate you got me parking at a weird ass angle that works all right and I really would like that blue line to go away Rapid City Ground, Cessna November 5 Kilo, could you please send a fuel truck? Hopefully that'll get the blue line to go away. Cessna November 5 Kilo fuel truck is on the road. Nope, alright. So, I can't even see my fuel shut off now. Oh well. We're gonna call that end of flight. We're gonna turn the lights back on. Let's hop out real quick. And, uh... See Sky West coming in to land. What are they going to be landing? I think it is a 320. Ow, they got stopped quick. And they just disappear. Alright, well that was not worth watching. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Looks like the fuel truck just arrived. And uh, they're ready to fuel me. So, thanks for watching. And I will come back with more.